So just when everybody was about to give up on their favorite class slash spec, aka Enhancement Shaman, Blizzard had decided to put a fist on the table and to actually give us the final year work that we've been waiting for years. Now what does this mean? Uh, I don't know, nobody knows what they're going to do, they're probably not going to listen to the community like in 99% of other situations, but they're still doing something which is uh, excellent compared to the current situation of Enhancement Shaman which is totally tragic, totally bad and I just cannot describe to you and if you watch my previous beta videos you will see what I'm speaking about, the Enhancement Shaman is literally the worst class slash uh, spec now in the war within beta at least and we hardly need our work. So in today's video I'm actually going to just uh, chit chat about it a little bit, give a few of my ideas and uh, make sure guys to be fully realistic. I know that there's a thousands of new and great ideas and again probably Blizzard will, ne uh, will not listen to any of those ideas and they will just put some of their bullshit but again any change is better than our current situation so let's see what they're going to cook about. And if you guys uh, wish to support me, tossing a subscribe would help me so much and it's totally free and consuming one second. And if you guys want to watch me live stream, I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash sector888. And uh, I'm live almost every day at 5 or 6 p.m. Central European time whenever I can out of my work. So yeah, come hang out. We do a lot of fun stuff there, a lot of PvP with Enhancement Shaman and... I'm also playing with you guys arenas, battlegrounds and stuff like that. So, uh, by finishing this intro, let's just uh, start with the ideas. So, uh, again, as I said in intro, I'm gonna be trying to be fully realistic on those changes and stuff that would actually help Enhancement Shaman and not take anything much or make us be the S tier because that way we are gonna get nerfed within the first month and stay in the mud for the whole rest of the expansion. So, uh, first and foremost, bro, we need removed global cooldowns of the totems. So, Enhancement Shaman compared to every other class in spec has the least uh, sp uh, amount of spells that are of the global CD. And bro, as totems are being uh, our help, our support and stuff like that, we really need them off global cooldown because how many times did I screwed up with the fear and... Uh, if you pre-tremor at higher rating, they're just gonna see it, wait for it to expire or to destroy it and boom, you're able to get feared and in Cataclysm, Enhancement Shaman can actually use the tremor totem while being in a fear which is so insanely good and it is how it should be. And by the way, Enhancement Shaman is probably the, has probably the best version of itself in the Cataclysm. Also, Grounding Totem, come on man, how many times has somebody, has Warlock started to cast Chaos Bolt and you were just hitting that uh, Storm Strike and you wanted to soak that Chaos Bolt so much with your Grounding Totem but it was on Global CD so Warlock actually used it and he uh, ruined your day, took half of your HP or even killed you depending on how much HP you were before that fight and it was so 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 freaking annoying and it is still annoying, by the way, because it is still on global cooldown, so come on, at least remove the Tremor and the Grounding Totem from that. Also, Static Field would be then much more useful, because you could use it in a certain situations that the uh, uh, enemy wouldn't expect it, and this way, when it has global CD, you really can't, and there is much more good suggestions, but let's just stick to those three uh, main totems. Second one is also the thing that uh, is still in Cataclysm and that is that our Wolfies, our Feral Spirits are actually healing us while they are dealing damage. And bro, uh, as, uh, Enhancement Shaman is a class that uh, is made to be hybrid and uh, that means that uh, our defensives will be lower, okay, but we are going to do a lot of healing and damage in the same time, so at least let us do that heal. So. Either give us proper defensives, which they never did and they probably will never do, but don't nerf our healing for god's sake. Like, everything that stands right now is fine, at least here on the retail, in beta it's much worse uh, in terms of healing, and uh, we need that something additional, and that is that feral spirits. And you might gonna think that uh, it would get broken compared to the tier sets that Enhancement Shaman has and that we can have a 10 Feral Spirits in the same time 
uh, with their CD being longer and CD being reset real quick. Well, okay, just make it to be higher and uh, give us some heal from that Feral Spears damage because, you know, that's how Enhancement Shaman should work, that's how his pet should work and I think that would be a great idea, but now just balance it, don't make it too broken because if they give us heal from Feral Spirits and they leave everything as it stands now, it's gonna get completely broken and busted, so yeah, it can be balanced very easily. Even I can do that and think of that and not some uh, goddamn millionaires developers. <laughs> so yeah, third thing that I wanted to talk about is <clears throat> the Ascendance. Like Ascendance as it is, some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I personally like it and it's a very cool thing, but it is so predictable. Everybody knows whenever they see Ascendance, either pop their defensive or disarm you and do anything to avoid and it is easy, avoidable and then brother we have a 3 minute freaking cooldown. 3 minutes is so goddamn long and it should be reduced to 2 minutes in order to make it well so every 2 minutes so we can pop it even twice during the same arena or solo shuffle match or whatever you are playing because like this it is just unplayable and 95% of enhancement shamans are not playing you just for that reason and it is so stupid uh, pretty good spell has wasted potential because of its too long cooldown and compared to paladin wings and many other bursting abilities of other classes i think it's really unfair to have ascendance at three minutes and yeah it should be at two at least and yeah m maybe put it in a minute and a half but nerf its damage a little bit and you know do some adjustment like that so make it real make it work also another thing that you could do uh, in cataclysm that you cannot do here and in beta is to use your wall while being stunned and bro it is so stupid because most of other classes can as well use their walls use their defensive cds while being stunned but only poor enhancement shaman that has only one single wall which is only 40% less damage taking, cannot use it while stand. So that's the reasons why rogues were countering us for years and will be countering us if that doesn't change because uh, if we vault too early they're just gonna restart, wait for vault to get over and nuke the shit out of us and if we, uh, you know, use it after, well, there won't be after because we are not coming alive from those stuns, so it's really really stupid at this point and we should really get our walls while we are being stunned and yeah overall if they are thinking to uh, do something about the whole enhancement shaman team i think going back to wind fury would be an excellent one and make everything evolve around wind fury like it used to be back in the days and make those epic wind fury animations and stuff like that and trust me everybody will adore enhancement shaman because wind fury is no joke and it it's no mistake and yeah uh I think everybody likes it, like at least 95% of the enhancement channels that are here. So yeah, those are just few of the ideas that could possibly be done and make enhancement shaman good again and balance it. And uh, yeah, nothing much needs to be added. Uh, you know, this is just me being real and uh, I know that this being real probably won't uh, anything of that happen with enhancement shaman but uh, on a real note uh, just these little things we need in order to make this class be in a pretty decent tier and not in a best but not in a worst as it is so yeah please comment down below your guys' opinion about my ideas and what do you guys think uh, is there something else that i maybe missed or something better that they should put and rework and yeah, comment down below, let's have some conversation about that. And yeah, if you wanna have some in deeper conversation with me about that, come to my twitch.tv slash sector888 and uh, uh, come chat with me live and discuss with me every potential change and yeah. So uh, again, if you wanna stay in touch with all the news about the Enhancement Shaman, make sure to subscribe and see you guys in the next one.